David the Shepherd here again. If you saw the presentation and demonstration, you got a quick look at some of the shepherd slings that I make. This leather pouch one is very popular. Just start with a leather pouch and then I go back and weave the cords. This is made from jute twine. It has a very soft feel on the hands. Some people think David might have used one that was entirely made from a woven pouch, like this one you see here. I braid the entire shepherd sling, then I go back and I weave the pouch into it. But if I wouldn't weave the pouch into it, that's actually another type of shepherd sling, this split pouch one. The split pouch one that you see here, you just rest the rock right in between the straps. All of these shepherd slings work exactly the same way. Some of these are made from hemp though, which is a little bit heavier material to use on the hand. We don't know exactly, of course, what David might have used. I make a lot more of these out of paracord and leather. Uh, paracord is short for parachute cord, right? It's what they used to jump out of airplanes a long time ago. If you saw the demonstration, you know just how powerful these slings are. You start with a loop. You put that on your middle finger. Hold on to the knot between your thumb and your forefinger. All you have to do is let completely go of the knot and the stone will come out of the pouch. You're going to only swing it around three times and then let go of the knot at the bottom of the throw. Very similar to bowling. One, two, three. The next throw is a lot like the underhand throw. You just swing it above your head. Some people call it the helicopter throw. Here we go. One, two, three. What I've found, it's much more about how you throw than how hard that you throw. You don't have to throw with rocks. You can also throw with marshmallows. And it's the exact same principle with this. One, two, three. Over 40 yards I've been able to throw a marshmallow. One more throw that I want to show you today of the three basic ones. You have underhand, overhead, and then overhand, like you throw a baseball. Some people call this the figure eight throw. Okay, so instead of circling three times, you're just going to throw it one time. And you drop it behind your head like that. If you'd like more information about how to throw with a shepherd sling, go to davidtheshepherd.com. David would have used a sheep pen very similar to this one that I'm standing behind at the Great Passion Play on the Holy Land Tour. This site is open year round. When I'm talking about the sheep pen, this is what I'm talking about. It has high walls and only one entrance. And uh, at that entrance, of course, the shepherd would stay all night. And when Jesus says he is the good shepherd and that he stands at the gate to the sheep pen, there's no other way to enter in. That's what he's talking about. Oftentimes what they would do is they would stack thorns and briars above the wall in order for predators not to be able to just jump across and into the sheep pen where the sheep were kept. This is a great place to, to see the Bible come to life at the Great Passion Play in Eureka Springs. If you have more questions about the types of shepherd slings that are out there or about the 25 different designs that I make and carry in my online store, go to davidtheshepherd.com and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have.